Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Holliston Girls Varsity Soccer here on the Holliston Hub HCAT. Uh, today, Holliston High School's Girls Varsity is taking on the Norton Lancers here at Comedian Field, and it's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. A nice, crisp, nah, not even that crisp autumn afternoon. I'm your host, John Drohan, and I'm joined, unfortunately, my father-in-law and, uh, and co-host and color man is not available today. He's had to work late. Of course, you know, he's a guy who's never going to retire. But I am joined here by, of course, the Holliston Hub, the all-star cast that we have today. The uh, of Our camera and executive producer, Lindsey Crane, who's, you know, I'm not going to say it. I don't want to say it in front of everybody, but arguably she's probably the smartest kid uh, on the staff. And then, of course, there's the leader of the staff who's here, none other than my dear friend, Mr. Bruce Gilfoy. So you'll get to listen to me today. We're, uh, we're struggling a little bit with the graphics, so I will do my best to maintain the score and, uh, and the time for you at all times. Um, fortunately, this isn't basketball, where the score changes every 30 seconds, or football, where it changes every couple of minutes. This is, of course, soccer, where the score changes maybe once or twice an entire game. So here we go. Holliston, uh, Holliston coming into today's game. Holliston has a record of 4-6-2. and two. They're coming off a one-game winning streak after a big win uh, earlier in the week against Bellingham. Uh, Norton Lancers are coming in today at 4-4-2. Four, four and two. So Holliston is uh, currently occupying the number five spot in the in the Tri Valley League and uh, Norton is right behind them at number six. So this is a this is an important match as far as a positioning in the Tri Valley League standings. Um, Norton uh, is coming off a two game losing streak. However, uh, talking to Coach Megan Elliott earlier uh, before the game, she said that uh, you know they're these guys that their their team is tough and the the two losses that they're coming off of are two of the top teams both midfield and Hopkinton who are occupying the top of the the top of the table as they say here in uh, in in soccer world. So we're about to get underway. We, of course we play 40 minute halves. Uh, Holliston will be going from the southeast to the northwest and they are in their crimson red and Norton the visiting team is in the visiting white going from the northeast to the southwest. So uh, we're about to get underway. Uh, we'll try and get a we'll we we'll get you an update of uh, of the starters here and what we see on the field. We have uh, some people have come back for for Holliston, which is uh, fantastic. We had some injuries earlier in the season. We have a couple of those players back. We'll talk about them. So here we go underway. Uh, we have uh, that's uh, Mulvaney. She plays back to Claire Fitzgerald, and there's Lila Bausch. Lila Bausch is uh, in our back line. We got Fitzgerald Bausch, and oh, who is that? Is that that is Molly McLeod, four-year starter Molly McLeod, coming off the injured reserve, uh, back to her center back position. So I know that uh, talking to Coach Brielle Chadzi before the game, she is very very happy to have McLeod back there. She's been an anchor of the Holliston defense, and there's McLeod making a nice play right there. So. Uh, and then, of course, on the other side, uh, on the other side, playing the other back is uh, is Juliet Leone, a three-year starter here at Holliston. So, we've got some experience back there. With the youngest one being Fitzgerald, and I'll tell you what, you are going to hear her name today because she is probably one of the fastest kids on this field right now, and she's always involved and in, uh, as as really having a breakout season as a sophomore, playing in that in that right back position. There's Fitzgerald right now. Fitzgerald pushes forward. Paige Kutchman. Uh, Kutchman, she's another senior. There's McDonald on the outside. Kaylee McDonald looks inside. She's got Kutchman, but she's not there. But Fitzgerald's there playing up, keeping the ball alive. Unfortunately, gets taken off her. We'll try and get you to the uh, the Norton. So, of course, in the goal, Holliston has uh, their superstar goalkeeper, Kira Lucas. She's a sophomore, having a great season. And, again, you know, Holliston suffered a, quite a few injuries over the course of this season, but uh, they've – They've they've muddled through and they've they've stuck it out. They've had some some tough losses, but they've also had some really really strong performances in both the win and loss. And there's uh, there's there's your star and the and the lead and the lead scorer. That's McLeod shoots and scores. Early shot by Caitlin O'Connell. O'Connell with the look up from O'Connell got the look. It came from McDonald and McConnell again. People underestimate. We talked about Claire Fitzgerald being one of the fastest kids on the field, but I think that right there, I think you just saw the fastest one, which is Caitlin O'Connell. Caitlin O'Connell with a great breakaway shot and a perfect shot just underneath the crossbar, giving Holliston an early lead right in the second minute of the game. 
So Hollison, Hollison takes a nice, a nice early lead on a, on a great play by Connell. And, and again, that, that was the feed that came from, from Kaylee McDonald, the junior. But O'Connell took it from there, beat her defender, and beat the keeper with a perfect shot just underneath the crossbar. So Holliston with the ball put moving in now with a nice early lead. We'll see what Norton can do if they can uh, come back on the uh, come back on the attack and see if they can get back in this because Holliston, we've seen this before. If Holliston takes an early lead, oftentimes they 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 rarely take the pressure off. So it really keeps the uh, the opponents on their heels. So that early goal really really helps. So as I said, Kira Lucas is playing in the back. Uh, our holding defender, holding defender is Emily Mulvaney. Mulvaney's, our, or sorry, they our holding mid is uh, Emily Mulvaney. Uh, up front, we have, as I said, we said we had Emma Hauk, number eleven, up top. Uh, of course, Caitlin O'Connor, who just scored that, or Caitlin O'Connell, who just scored that goal. Uh, attacking mid, Caitlin McDonald. We mentioned her name, and Emma Hauk. And there's the ball. There's that's Holden, right? That's Hannah Holden. Hannah Holden is the freshman, is the sister, uh, who's who is the sister of Anya Holden. Who Anya Holden, of course, is one of the injured players that is uh, out for the season. There's Hauk on the outside. So Hauk looks in, she shoots, and one hops it to the Norton keeper. So uh, the Norton keeper, we've uh, we t talking to the coach before the game. Uh, Norton keeper uh, is Kaylin Ebert. She goes by KK. And uh, I was I had the I had the, the great pleasure to meet KK's grandfather, uh, his by the by a guy by the name of Rich Tom Chikowski. Uh I may have ha butchered that name a little bit. I'm sure at halftime he'll square me away. But uh, Rich uh, <laughs> Rich uh, was talking to us in the booth before, and he pointed out that of course uh, his granddaughter, his granddaughter KK Hebert, is uh, is playing in the goal and. Uh, she comes. She she comes as advertised because uh, both coaches talked to uh, talked to me about her early and said that she's an, an outstanding goalkeeper. And uh, as I understand it, she will be playing her college. Uh, she's going to go to Assumption College to play to play there. So great for her as she's going to continue her soccer career in college. Always always encouraging to see. All right. So Hollison back on the attack on the attack and nothing. Goes back to Hebert. So Allison will keep O'Connell high. She's uh, she's the like your classic striker, where she will just play and play as as, as high up and keep those defenders on their on their heels. Uh, and you know she'll she'll get called for offsides every now and again, but at the expense of getting that one step. And as we saw early uh, earlier in the game, there she was. There's Bausch covering on the outside. McDonald's there. McDonald's able to clear it out, and it's going to be a Holliston throw. So as I said, O'Connell with her speed, and she's very strong, very strong as well. So she's she's uh, she's she's able to keep to keep. As I said, those defenders are are always have to know where she is, and because of that, she gets that one step. This is why Holliston is leading uh, this game in the sixth minute. So Norton with the throw in the Holliston side of the field. There's Hauk. Sorry, Kutchman. That's Kutchman that sends it forward. And there's O'Connell again. O'Connell comes away with it. O'Connell's got space. She looks across. Comes across. Looked like it caught, might have caught in the Norton defender's hand, but no call. And it rolls out. It's going to be a Holliston throw on the outside. O'Connell throws in. She's got Kutchman. <laughs> And there's a fight in the corner, and it's going to be another Holliston throw. Fitzgerald's going to come up and take care of this. So Fitzgerald with the throw deep in the corner. It's hard for us to see inside this, uh, inside the the Holliston box here. Our uh, the the the, uh, the press box here has has its limitations. I'll give you that. But you know what? It's not where you are, it's just the company you keep. That's kind of what keeps it. And, of course, I'm here with, you know, my two Holliston Hub buddies. A big Holliston Hub meeting table. We'll talk about that in the break. Well, so much fun stuff happening with Holliston Hub and Holliston HCAT for everybody to take advantage of. All right, so Norton trying to push the ball forward and doing a reasonably good job doing that. 
And they're pushing up the right side. Let's see if we can identify some of these Norton players. There's some speed on the outside. Leone's there, and it just goes to Lucas, and she's able to corral it. So, Leon so one of the things that Holliston has always had is they've always had speed on the outside and those outside backs for years and years. Ever since we've been covering them and doing this regularly, we see, we always have they have fast outside backs that that oftentimes will be able to participate in that attack. And it's one of the things that you know we you know in in the, in today's modern game, seeing those attacking backs really really makes a difference and uh, makes a defense up. So ball pops forward. Lucas is there. And nothing doing. It looked like that could have been trouble as Lucas had to come out of goal, but she was able to get a hold of it and get everybody to reset. Lucas left foot up. She's got Kutchman. There's McDonald. McDonald forward. Holden. Holden steps forward. She gets stuffed. Holden again. Looking back, and here comes Norton, pops it forward, and it looks like it's going to be trouble. McLeod's there, and Lucas is there, and nothing doing. So, so far, the only real threat we've seen is uh, two two pushes by Caitlin O'Connell. O'Connell scored on one, and the second one was uh, she was able to get it across, but it was cleared. But so far, Norton is having a little trouble getting down into the house. And like I said, that, that McLeod, there she is right there. Molly McLeod makes a big difference in her ability to control the back, uh, not not make mistakes, not not get rattled when she has attacking players around her, um, and between her and Bausch playing in those two center backs, it's a it's a makes a big difference in having in uh, in an attacking player, an attacking team trying to trying to bust through that defense. Norton throw ins, it's cleared. How clear is it? And there's McDonald. McDonald forward trying to find O'Connell, can't get it to her. So that was uh, Olivia Lavoie for Norton. She's the center back, trying to get, trying to keep O'Connell and McDonald under wraps. So Norton throw down on Holliston end. Uh, that's number six. That's Madden Ribeiro. Ribeiro looks down. She throws, and that's Santos. She's looking for on the outside. Fitzgerald's there. Keeps it in. That's Corcoran. Corcoran shoots, and the ball goes up. Oh, and it goes off of Lucas's hands. So Corcoran with a shot from distance. Lucas is able to get her hands on it, but just not enough. There was just too much. Corcoran just put too much on that ball. And the ball goes up and just goes off the finger trips, the fingertips of Kira Lucas and ties it up. So that was yeah, that was uh I think it was Corcoran. No, it could have been Zoe Santos or Adeline Corcoran. I'm not sure which one. Uh 12. All right, yeah, that's right. So Adeline Corcoran, I got that right. Thank you. So Corcoran was the one with a shot from distance and just put it over the fingertips of Lucas to tie it up. So Norton is on the board. So we're all back to even at the 10-minute mark. And Holliston is trying to trying to get because they had they had that kind of the early success. And it seemed like Norton was going to crack, but no, they that one shot was Really, really, a, a, one of those one of those shots that you just you you can't if you did it a hundred times you wouldn't do it you wouldn't do it once and be able to put it in the same spot. But they just found it. Lucas got her hands on it, but there was just too much effort. Here comes Norton again, and there's a and there's a whistle. Looks like we're going to get a free kick right there. So there was contact. I think it might have been Fitzgerald who made contact. It might have been with Santos. Looked like contact with Santos. So Norton's going to have a free kick in a dangerous area right outside, right at the twenty yard line. It's going to be Hickey's going to take it. Hannah Hickey, or Anna Hickey, correction. So Anna Hickey in the free, in the direct, and the shot, and it goes up and just clears the crossbar. Hickey had some purpose on that ball and just, just cleared the crossbar. So Hollison is able to dodge that bullet. So Norton, after uh, after a very giving up an early goal, is right back in this and ties it up, and now they're banging on the door with another that was that was a breakaway, and it was it was really one of those fouls that Fitzgerald really had to do because uh, there was nothing between her and the goal if if uh, Santos was able to keep moving forward. All right, so there's Fitzgerald push on the outside, and McDonald McDonald tries to fight through can. There's Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald sends it forward, trying to find O'Connell, and does. O'Connell pops it, and there's Holden. Holden's there, and she pushes it forward. There's Hauk on the outside, but they play back to Hebert, and she sends it to the middle of the field. Hebert, strong, 
strong foot sends it all the way to the middle of the field. And it's going to go out, and it's going to be off a Hollison player. It's going to be a Norton throw. <laughs> Hickey sends it in. And we'll do some more throwing. It's one of the things you see at this level is you have throwing after throwing after throwing on the outside. It's and it's one of the things when you watch the professionals, you know, both the men and the women, they just they keep that ball in bounds. It's their their ability to, to control the ball and keep it in bounds and just put the ball exactly where they want is truly, truly remarkable. Because, you know, you watch, everybody watching this game, these girls are really, really talented and skilled players. You don't get to be, you know, in, in this day and age, you don't get to be a varsity soccer player, especially a starter, if you haven't had a, a long, long experience, long, a long, a big resume of, of soccer, been playing in both, you know, in your town league, and I would say 90% of these kids will all play played club soccer as well. So Norton looks like they have a throw on the outside. So it's going to be a throw deep in Hollison territory on the far side from us. Looks like we're going to she's going to take a she's going to try and send it in. Can't see the number on it. Long throw in. It's stuffed. It goes looks like we've got to Savannah Gobi 19 if I can get that number correct. It's either Gobi or Gessner. Phoebe Gessner, of course. Ball goes forward and Lucas is able to control it. Nothing, no damage done there. So Norton trying to make something happen in front of the house and goal is unable to do so. And Lucas is going to clear it out. So we're all tied up. Uh, we're in the 14th minute uh, of the first half, 1-1. One, one. Uh, goals by Adeline Corcoran for Norton. And, of course, the first goal by... Um, your, your leading scorer, none other than Caitlin O'Connell, uh, in the second minute of the game. All right, Holliston substitutions. Caitlin Queeley's coming in. So Queeley's coming in to play that midfielder. And Norton throw. We're going to do it again. Norton's got some subs coming in as well. So Goba goes out. Corcoran, the scorer, goes out. Coming in, we see McKenna Shea, and identify some of these other players. Looks like McKenna Shea, number five. Of course, number five. I'm, I'm always I'm always privy to the number five, just because that's you know that's my number. You guys have a number, right? Yeah, you, you have a number. Fifteen. All right, that's five three times, so that's good. What about you, Bruce? You got a number? Twelve. Twelve's a good number. I, again, it, it, I mean, is that a pre Brady number? Because, you know, a lot of people get it because of, you know, none other than Senior Brady. Here goes Norton. There she is. That's Shea on the outside. She runs into trouble. Queeley's there. And ball comes forward, but Lucas is going to race, and she's going to get there before Shea does. So easy pickup for Lucas, and she's going to reset. It's funny, we talk about number 12, the number 12, it's a great number, but, you know, again, you know, from a football standpoint, as Norton's trying to make something happen, and looks like Hollison's getting a little disorganized, but there's Fitzgerald on the outside. Fitzgerald's small but fast, is able to muscle through, and it looks like it's going to be, it's going to be off of her, so it's going to be a Norton throw. Yeah, 12 was kind of like the quarterback number, you know, pretty much through and through, you know, for all the, you know, as we were growing up, right? All the, all the, a lot of the big quarterbacks are number 12. Oh, that's stolen by Lucas. Oh, there's trouble there. So Lucas able to, but then looks like a, a, the Norton player, I can't see her number, was able to come in and bounce out of Lucas. But there was a little bit too much contact, and the referee blew the whistle. So it's going to be a Hollis and free kick, and Lucas is going to blast it out. Or it's going to be, looks like McLeod's going to take this. Are you saying the great number four by by Brett Favre? Who, who's your number four? Oh, Bob, all right, and then we're going to hockey. We're crossing sports now, all right? I mean, this is a soccer game, so we probably should just get back. The only problem with soccer, all right, there's Shea on the outside. 
She on the outside, and there's Bausch. Bausch is able to deal with her and excuses her of that ball. Great play by Lila Bausch on the outside. And clears it out as it gives uh, Hollison the ability to reset after that fast push by Shea. Lila Bausch, a junior. And there she is. She gets her head on it. Holden pops it up. And that was Leahy. She was able to get a knee on it. So Norton trying to push forward. Hollison looks like it's spent a little too much time in their own end right now. Leone's there. There's Holden. Holden, the freshman, having a breakout season. Seems like every year, every year, Holliston will have a have an outstanding freshman that will just really, really, part, you know, be a be a dominating force in that starting lineup. And this year, looks like it's Anna Holden. I'll send some other some other strong freshmen as well. We're going to probably see them get in the game here shortly too because they've been. And ball goes forward, but just misses the end line. She runs out of real estate, tries to get it back in, but it's going to be a Holliston goal kick. So Allison trying to get back on the offensive here. As I was saying, the, the hard thing about soccer is they change numbers, right? You have all the like all the you know the great international pros. They've all they oftentimes they'll you know they move to from one team to another. They've changed numbers. And Zinedine Zidane I think had like eight different numbers. So at the end of the day, I think uh, I think that's what you find in Europe. That people they don't get as married to the numbers as we do here in America. I do like 15. 15 is a good number, like I said, because it's five three times. Anything that has set that, you know, that five, kind of that, that five, you know, because five is the number. And, you know, I, I try to teach my, my kids are the same way. You know, you just like that's, you got to pick your number and then that's it. That's, that's what you go with. McLeod plays it forward. She's got Kutchman. She plays it forward to the defender. So Hollison needs to get back. And we saw early on they did a good job of trying to find feet and being able to move the ball. There's Holden. Holden has a nice ball into McDonald. McDonald looks on the outside, has the street. There's Fitzgerald coming up, but she can't get there in time, get stuffed. And it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be off of Fitzgerald. So McDonald had a good idea to try to play back to that, to the rushing Fitzgerald. Uh, just just wasn't able to do it, and Norton did a nice job of defending it. Looked like that was uh, number four, Kyla Leahy, and number five, McKenna Shea. Norton throw over to Fitzgerald. Bausch sends it forward, trying to find... So that's Ainsley Doniger. Doniger is in the game now. Ainsley Doniger, who's the, who of course is the uh, the free agent that they picked up from Grafton this year. Big free agent move by, I mean I don't know if they have free agency. It's not really free agency, but she just moved to Holliston, which is the essential, which is the equivalent of because nobody's getting paid right now. So Ainsley Doniger has been a, had a great season. There's a ball forward and it's she's got Shea, but Bausch is there to clear it. That was trouble. That could have been a lot worse than it looked. Good thing Bausch was able to get there and clear it out. But Shea was there, and she had nothing but realist, nothing but green in front of her between her and Lucas at that goal. So still tied at ones at the 20th minute. And as you remember, 20 minutes left to go. 20 minutes remaining in this first half. Ball thrown in, goes, bounces over, and it's no one's able to touch it. And then... And, Takes a two hops to Lucas, and that was dangerous as well. So, Hollison trying to trying to put something together, particularly on the on the offensive side. And it seems like their their organization in the back is a little bit. And there's McLeod. McLeod sends it forward, and unfortunately, no one's there. Doniger was there trying to find Doniger or O'Connell. So Doniger playing up on the left side on the Hollison's attacking left side. And Juliet Leone's there on the out. She's that outside back, and there she is. She gets her head on it, sends it forward. Holden's there, and there's McDonald. McDonald plays back nicely to Bausch. Bausch sends it forward, trying to find Fitzgerald. She got her. Fitzgerald comes down with a nice, a nice play by Fitzgerald. Some really good. There's Bausch sending it forward, trying to find O'Connell, but goes too strong. 
And this is the issue. This is where Hollison runs into trouble. They try and launch a ball too far, and it's just it's to, they get stuck, and it just turns into a back and forth. And when you have a good goalkeeper like KK Hebert, then she's going to she's not going to she's going to get to most of, most of those long balls that get launched in, and then she's got a strong foot and sends it right back the other way. So Hollison, once again, this is going to be the first corner of today. Since we're counting corners, I can count corners now that my father-in-law is not here. He gets a little frustrated with, for the corner count. So Norton with their first corner on the far side. I can't see who's taking it. Ball in, it's low. And takes a tricky bounce. McLeod's there. Ball gets launched in, but it's going to go wide of the goal. It's going to be a Holliston goal kick. So McLeod did a good job of clearing that out. McLeod had a hip injury earlier in the year. It looks like she's doing okay now. So Hollison, Hollison substitutions coming in. We talked about the freshman. Uh, Eleanor Granfers comes in. Number, uh, I think it's Granfers. No, sorry. That's uh, Caitlin Clark comes in, number five. And let me see who else. It looks like 41. Le Leilani Burrows comes in. It's good to see Burrows. Another strong player. And there's Mulvaney. There's Burroughs on the outside. Burroughs and Doniger and Hauk. Burroughs tries to get it and gets it taken off. And here comes Norton. Norton forward. Burroughs is back. Kutchen back. But there's on the outside. And Lucas is out of the goal. And the ball comes out. And it goes in. Lucas comes out. Tries to get to it. Couldn't get there. I looked like there was number seven. Looks like Anna Hickey on the outside. It looked like it was Hickey. Let's see if I can identify who scored that Norton goal, but the ball goes in. And Hollison, number three. Correction, number three. Number three, those Elise Lyons. Elise Lyons raced to the outside, got her foot to the ball. Lucas tried to come out and get it, but Lyons got to it first, and the ball bounced. So right now they're going to take a, a brief timeout. We're going to take a timeout as well. So... Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Holliston, unfortunately, down 2-1 to one, uh, in the 25th minute here in the first half uh, on a goal by Corcoran and Lyons for, for, the, for the Norton Lancers and the Holliston goal by Caitlin O'Connor. So don't go away. We will be right back. Okay, we're back after the quick break. Uh, correction on that uh, Norton goal. It was not Elise Lyons. Uh, it's, I've, I've had a little roster uh, management issue here. It's not it's not you, it's me. Uh, but the goal is scored by number three, Gwen Rochebeau. Rochebeau, number three, who came in as a substitution. Uh, and again, she made a great play, uh, beat the defender to the outside, and uh, enough to, to draw the keeper out. And Rochebeau was able to get to the ball first and was able to get it past the defenders and resulting in a in a Norton goal. So Norton takes the lead 2-1 to one as we're in the 25th minute trying to, uh, Holliston trying to uh, put some pressure and be able to get get something going and, and do, you know, get back to some basics of ball control and not you know, ball control, trying, trying to find the open player, trying to make space and uh, find the players that have space and play the ball back and get some good good looks at the goal because other than that first that first score by Caitlin O'Connor, they really haven't had anything, um, any serious threat up to this point. Kutchman tries to send the ball forward, can't get there, looking for Hauk. So Connor's down. Uh, we have Caitlin Clark, who and looks like uh, Emma Hauk has moved. Uh, she's moved to the striker. Doniger's on the left side, and Clark's on the right side. Fitzgerald's there. Fitzgerald gets it taken off her by Shea. And there's Bausch racing, and Bausch is going to just keep it in, and it's going to go off of. It's going to go off of Bausch. So a Norton throw deep in Holliston territory. Long throw in. That was Mulvaney. It looks like Mulvaney got her head on it. Send it out. We're going to do it all over again. Some more Norton substitutions coming in. 
Phoebe Gesner going out. And who do we have coming in? Looks like Adeline Corcoran coming back in, number 12. She scored the first Norton goal. And there's a ball in. Looks like it caught somebody's hand from this angle, but no whistle and to no avail, to no benefit to anyone. So it looks like it's going to be uh, another Norton throw. So Norton still down in Hollison End. Even Hollison, so long throw in. Lucas is there. The ball bounces. She can't get to it. Leone's there. Ball turns, and there's McLeod. McLeod sends it forward, and there's Hauk. Hauk gets a foot on it and is able to pop it up. Doniger's on the outside, and Doniger can't come down with it, and it looks like that looked like Hickey was able to take it off of her, and there she is again. Leone gets a foot on it, and the ball comes forward. So Hollison looks... A little disheveled on the on that left-hand side. Kutchman's there. Kutchman and Hauk trying to take the ball off of, looks like Kyla Leahy. Corcoran on the outside. That's Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald fights through, and Fitzgerald's forward. Fitzgerald with space. Fitzgerald's got Hauk. Hauk pulls it back, tries to play it off to Burroughs. There's Doniger. Doniger has it. She's got great ball control. Plays back to Hauk. So Hollison with something going here. Mulvaney plays back. Nicely done. Reverse fields. McLeod back to Bausch. So Bausch comes under control, sends it forward, tries to find Doniger, and she's unable to get to it. Goes out of bounds. going to be a north throw. So Hollison looked like they had. They were doing, doing the right thing, trying to get some control in front of that in front, in, that Norton, in front of that Norton side, there's a hand. Yeah, that's going to be a handball on uh, Norton. I can't see the I can't see the number. Looks like it might be number. I'm guessing. So I won't guess. It was unintentional, and it was in the box. So it's going to be a Hollison free kick. It's going to be McLeod taking it. McLeod sends it forward. Cleared. I have to say, this game, Norton's backs have done a nice job. Nice move by Emma Hauk. Hauk gets breaks free, still has space. Tries to find Doniger. No one can get their foot to it. So in that, pushes it into inside the 18. Hauk's there. Doniger's there. But no one can get a clean shot or a clean look. So we have some more Hollis and subs coming back in. So Holden comes back. Doniger stays in. McLeod's back in. And it looks like, yeah, oh, Caitlin O'Connell's back in. Trying to make something happen on the end line. Hawks there, and it just goes off her. It's going to be a Norton goal kick. So Norton uh, leads by a score of 2-1. to one. Uh, Goals by Rochebeau and Corcoran. And Hollison's goal, lone goal, uh, Caitlin O'Connell. Ball forward. Kutchman's there. Holden's there. And there's McLeod, or sorry, McDonald on the outside. I get those Scottish kids mixed up. Is that the whole Scottish contingent on Holliston? Speaking of which, there's McLeod. Kutchman. Kutchman, nice ball forward. On the outside. Now is O'Connell. She gets that ball taken off of her rather cleanly. As I said, the Norton defense today has uh, they had that early lapse, and it was and it was a it was wasn't as much of a lapse as much as it was a, a truly great shot by Caitlin O'Connell. But other than since then, Allison hasn't been able to do anything, any damage, no real clean shots uh, to test Caitlin Herbert. So. We'll see if Hollison can figure this out. So that's, uh, is that Doniger on the, no, that's Holden on the outside. And it looks like Eleanor Grandfors has come in as well. She'll be playing that attacking midfield or that wing on the outside. There's Fitzgerald coming all the way over, plays out. Grandfors is there. 
And there's McDonald. McDonald turns. McDonald does a nice job playing with her back to the goal, but unfortunately, Norton defense is, they're not giving them an inch. McLeod pops it out, gives Holliston a chance to reset. That is Eleanor Gramfors that is uh, playing that attacking mid on the far side. McLeod's there. There's McDonald. McDonald trying to pressure. Doniger. And Holden's, Holden will send it out. You throw in by at least Lyons, number 10. For Norton, so Lyons tries to throw it long, clears Kutchman, and the ball clears everybody and bounces three times to Lucas. So in the 30th minute, 31st minute now, Hollison trails Norton by a score of one to two. And there's Kutchman. Kutchman sends the ball forward, trying to find O'Connell. Can't get her. Some desperation passes here as opposed to something a little more cleaner as the Norton defense is, they're well positioned, well numbered. They're organized back there. They're patient. And it's going to be another Holliston throw. Leone with the throw. Holden plays back to McLeod. McLeod, nice move on the inside. Sends the ball back up. Got O'Connell. O'Connell's now playing on the left side, trying to take advantage of maybe Coach Chad's he's seen something on that left side that maybe O'Connell maybe may have a good matchup over there. We'll see. So far, nothing. As Hauk tries to push through. Has contact, but no whistle. There's Doniger, and she, she plays for contact. She's not afraid to bump into anybody. Bausch. Bausch sends it forward. It's got Doniger. Doniger control it, but just. She's still got it. Doniger, good job of controlling the ball in traffic. Plays back to McLeod. Very calm. Very calm player, Doniger, as Ainsley got it. There's Granfors. Granfors up. McLeod's there. So Holliston with numbers. O'Connell on the outside. Gets that ball taken off her, and it looks like it's going to be a Holliston going to get their first corner. So this late in the game, Holliston going to corner on the far side. We'll see who's going to take it. Looks like it's going to be Kaylee McDonald. Kaylee McDonald, of course, the daughter of Jay McDonald, an above-average softball player in the Holliston Old Men Softball League. We'll we'll do we'll we'll do some. We say usually save the Holliston softball references for the second half for the real committed. So ball in, Cushman gets a foot on it, turns. It was Grand Fours was able to get a foot on it but unable to get enough zip on it, but it goes off the keeper, Hebert, so it's going to be another corner. So Grand Force had a, she had a look, but can't hit with her left foot and wasn't able to connect very strongly. So ball up. High ball in to Kutchman's head. She's there. Kutchman sends it. Oh, and she just in point-blank range. I don't think she hit it with her foot. I couldn't see. Looked like it could have been like her knee or shin. She can get a clean shot, but she got some, she got some pace behind it. And it just cleared the crossbar. So Howells with a great opportunity off the set play. Uh, good ball in by Kaylee McDonald. And Kutchman unable to unable to connect. So Norton dodges a, a bit of a bullet right there with Kutchman at point blank range. Really, really could have had a good opportunity to score. That's the first time that Hollison's had a good opportunity to score since their actual score. But here comes Norton on the outside. Bausch is there. And clears it to enable a reset. Time winding down, the 35th minute. Hollison trails Norton, 1-2. to two. Norton throw in the Hollison end. Long throw in. Comes to feet, gets to the ground. And it looks like, looks like it's going to be a Norton corner. And it sure is. So that ball went off of Lila Bausch's foot. So it's going to be a Norton corner from the far side. Allison's had some trouble with the set plays this year on the defensive end.
Can't see who's taking the corner for Norton. Here it is. Ball in, low, low line drive, goes through Lucas's hands, and the ball gets popped up, but it's cleared. I couldn't see who cleared it. Leahy's there. She's trying to fight it, keep it in play, but there's Kutchman. Kutchman pops it forward, and there's O'Connell in a foot race, and she's going to win it. O'Connell's there on the outside. So Hollison trying to counter. Ball comes in. There's Kutchman. Kutchman back to O'Connell on the outside. O'Connell with the left foot long, but it's going to go wide of the post. That's great to watch. It's fun to watch. You watch Caitlin O'Connell in a, in a dead race for the ball on the outside, and she caught that Norton defender and passed her. She's truly, truly a fast kid. Grand Force comes out, and looks like it's... Can't see who came back in. It might have been Mulvaney. It looks like Mulvaney's back in, number 18. I'll get confirmation on that. Norton forward, and there's another race, but Lucas is going to come out and scoop that up. So Kira Lucas sends the ball forward. There's Mulvaney. She plays down. Ball forward, and there's trouble. Once again, the Holson defenders trying to break through. That looks like it's number 14 on the outside. Sirkanich looks like Jacqueline Sirkanich. I'm sure I'm Skirkanich. Easy name, just like it's spelled. Just like Tom Chakowsky. Of course, his name is Rich Tom Chakowsky. I'm sure, and we see, we were joking. Of course, he gets called Tom all the time. Long throw in, and Holden's able to clear it. Trying to find O'Connell, can't get there. There's Hauk. There's Kutchman. But Norton doing a good job of controlling that ball. It was Santos who was able to control. But here comes O'Connell. O'Connell trying to find McDonald. So McDonald and O'Connell, but there's O'Connell back. And again, once again, Norton controls. Taylor Collins on the outside. There's a ball for another foot race. Bausch is there. That was Hickey and Bausch. Right? Look, uh, maybe not. I can't see that Norton number, but I know it was Lila Bausch who was able to uh, get to that ball before she did. So it's going to be Norton throw again in Hollison as we're about to Enter the 38th minute here in this first half. Howlson trails 1-2 to two to the visiting Norton Lancers. Norton throw. Short. McLeod's there and uh, just converts into a corner. Uh, McLeod would have liked to have that one back. This will be a Norton corner from the far side. As we're entering inside the 38th minute here in the first half. Ball up. Short, low throw. It's fast, and it's there. It's out of foot. Lucas is out of the goal. No one can get a clean shot, and it goes. <laughs> See if we can identify, and that ball went in. It was another lot of trouble in front of that goal. And oh, in the 38th minute, Lucas is unable to get to get control, there's so much confusion in front of that goal, and I can't see who was, looks like it was 18. If that was 18, that's Phoebe Gesner. So if that was 18, then Gesner, Phoebe Gesner gets the goal. And Hollison now in that first half trailing three to one. So Norton picks up another goal off the set play. 18 is Phoebe Gesner. So Hollison in the remaining Minutes of this first half trying to get something going. And there's O'Connell. O'Connell tries to send it backwards and can't. She's stuffed by Lyons. Holden's there. Kutchman's there. Hauk's there, but she can't get to it. Leone's there. She can't get to it. And there's McLeod. McLeod pressured. Maintains a good, nice job by Molly McLeod keeping that ball under control. Plays to Mulvaney, she's got Kutchman. Kutchman sends it forward, and it gets cleared out. 
Leahy clears that out. So Hollison with a quick throw trying to get in, but they still can't. There's McDonald's there, and they're fighting on the end line. And it looks like we're going to get a Holliston corner. So Holliston earns a corner in these final seconds of the first half. This may be the last play of the first half. It's going to be Kaylee McDonald's going to take it. So McDonald, high ball in. Cushman's there. Uh, and Houck sends it, but Houck unfortunately sends it to the old snack shop. So Holliston gives up a late goal in this first half off the off the corner kick. And at the end of the first half, Holliston trails Norton by a score of one to three. So we're going to take a short break for halftime. Uh, please uh, come. don't be, be afraid to come back and join us. Uh, it's only 10 minutes. So if you're watching now, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the in, after a short break uh, here on the Holliston Hub and Holliston Girls Varsity Soccer. Okay, welcome back, everybody, to Holliston Girls Varsity Soccer here at Holliston High School's Committee and Field. Holliston trails the Norton Lancers today by a score of 1-3. to three. Uh, the scoring, uh, Holliston was on the board at the right at the beginning of the game. In the second minute, minute uh, Caden will kind of break away goal. Fantastic shot, and Holliston thought they were off to the races today. And then Norton comes back and scores three unanswered goals uh, on, on some – uh, on some pretty dominant play, uh, spending most of the most of this first half in the Holliston. And Holliston's had some chances, uh, but Norton uh, was there and able to take advantage of some um, taking advantage of some of the Holliston miscues and some of the confusion in front of that goal. So Holliston comes. Uh, they start the second half here with a with a big uh, big hole to climb out of, and we'll see what they can do. So. Uh, as you can see, Holliston is uh, going from the northeast to the southwest. Norton going the other way. Holliston in their crimson red. Norton in their visiting whites. So we're about to get underway here in the second half. 40-minute halves, as you uh, as you know. And Holliston, uh, Holliston trails 1-3. to three. We'll, we'll try and keep you posted uh, of uh, the score and, and the time. As I know, we're having some graphics issues on the, uh, on the thing. But there's Emma Houck on the outside fast. Comes through. And all of a sudden, Hauk uh, earns herself a corner in the opening seconds of the second half. Not bad. Got some great stuff to talk about uh, during the second half. Uh, Lindsey Crane, our uh, executive producer and camera person here, she's, uh, she's talking about to tell some coaching stories. Hauk sends it forward, and one hop right to Hebert. The all-star goalkeeper for Norton has not really been tested very much today, uh, except for that first shot by O'Connell. And uh, I'd like to... Holliston like to get her, uh, get, see, uh, just see see what she's made of, and uh, get her some get her some action if they can get some more shots on goal. Mulvaney on the outside. Leone with the throw in. So Holliston has they. Oftentimes, uh, we've seen over the years, Holliston is, uh, has been a, a very strong second half team. And, you know, we're, we're going back to, you know, a couple of the, you know, the former teams that we've seen over the years. But Holliston uh, always seems like they have, uh, they have some, some good conditioning um, and they, they find a way to be able to, uh, to, to at least get some opportunities do they always they always come to fruition? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But they definitely uh, provide themselves some opportunities uh, in the second half. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if they can generate anything. It'd be nice for them to get to get one more, just to get their kind of get their sea legs under them again. To see if they can maybe put some put some pressure on Norton. Because right now Norton with that two goal lead, uh, they're going to be playing pretty loose. So still on the outside, oh, it's McDonald who gets. The header, and it's going to be, she's going to earn it, and Holliston's going to come back the other way. Looks like there's a whistle contact there. It was holding, and she's going to get called for that, so it's going to be a Norton free uh, just over the midfield, just over the midway line. 
Talking to Lindsay uh, during the break, Lindsay was telling some um, some uh, soccer referee stories when she used to referee in the youth league. Which which was this in? And there she is. What do we got here? This is the last thing I would ever want to be doing. This is her crying. Looks like it's her crying after a game. Long shot in. Yeah, that's her crying after a game when she's she's her, unfortunately I guess her her father also a referee uh, inspired her. Or, you know, forced her, coerced to say, "You're gonna, you need to do this because you get paid for it." I mean, you love soccer. You know, I, maybe I've said those same words myself. O'Connell turns, trying to find McDonald, but it goes too far. Ebert's out, and she's gonna scoop it up. So yeah, I can. Uh, we, we've seen, we've heard this story. If you've seen this TV show before, you know, of course, the overbearing fathers making their daughters, you know, go to. You want to ref soccer, and you know, and, and being a being an official in soccer is it's it's very rewarding. It's fun. You you you're part of the game. I'm sure you were an excellent official. I'm sure you were, but you know, this comes with that is you know you have the you have the uh, the pressure of you know of overbearing Connecticut parents, as Bruce has pointed out that Lindsay's not from Connecticut, but he mentioned that Connecticut parents are worse. I don't know. I've seen you know coaching here in Massachusetts. We've seen some pretty zealous. Uh, parents, and then of course, there's the coaches. And I, I wish, I wish I could say that I was not. I wish I could say that I was a laid back coach. I'm sure that there were times when I was very laid back, and I'm sure there were times when I may have, you know, been a little bit too upset. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's all for the spirit of competition. We used to tell, we used to say to the girls, is you know, it's 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 not about winning or losing. It's about, you know, playing your best and being on a team and, you know, trying to always improve and do better. But we always say it's more fun when you win. <laughs> and that's a fact. All right, so Holliston trying to turn things around here. Plays the ball back. Kutchman sends the ball forward, trying to find O'Connell. And um, once again, you send it back into that Norton defensive line. They're going to uh, nine out of ten times they're coming away with it. Hauk on the outside, nice footwork there. She tries to go back in the middle. She's got O'Connell on the left, and it's going to go off of Norton, so Fitzgerald's going to come and throw it in. Just underway in the second half, Holliston trails 1-3 to Norton. Hauk sends it forward. McDonald trying to get position. She's able to regain control, but she's got Leone on the outside. Leone comes up. Leone runs into traffic. She comes away with it. Nice Ball work there by Juliet Leone. Ball forward. Kutchman's there. Kutchman plays back. Bausch, long shot in, and that is going to go wide of the post. Bausch tried to kick a 40-yard field goal there, and just wide right. Speaking of 40-yard field goals, we're not going to talk about football at all, professional football. Oftentimes they have some cross-sport references, but we're not going to talk about professional American football because unless you're a – Philadelphia Eagles fan or a San Francisco 49ers fan, football's terrible. But you know what? You know what is? You know what isn't terrible? It's Hollis and soccer. Even down 3-1, they're still in this game. There's McLeod. McLeod whiffs and she can't get old. And there's a break three. Oh no! There's a shot, and Lucas is there. So that looked like it was number. That looks like Phoebe Gesner, number 18. And then Gesner or Gobe, I can't identify if it was an 18 or a 19, but a nice play through, was able to push through both McLeod and Lila Bausch, and she gets around her, gets a good look, but a great save by Kira Lucas at essentially point blank range right in front of the goal. Looking out here, we see I see one of the ball people. Is that that might be my neighbor Gavin Bausch down there? That is the, of course, the younger brother of Lila Bausch. So shout out to Gavin down there if he ends up watching this. I'll let him know that he was mentioned here. He's doing a great job. There's his sister playing on the outside. Plays to Fitzgerald. She plays up. Hauk turns. Bausch again. She sends it forward and. Norton with control. Once again, Fitzgerald racing back, trying to shield, and she's able to do it, so it's going to be a Holliston throw. 
quick throw in. That's Santos across. Santos looks. She tries to get it through. Mulvaney's able to sneak it out, and there's Leone. So Leone on the outside trying to control Santos. Santos pushes forward towards the line. She gets there, sends it back. There's a shot, one shot and one time. Great save by Lucas. One time by Anna Hickey. She pounded that ball. Before she got it right at Lucas, Lucas made a nice play. Nice little, nice little combination down there by Norton. And they had a really, really good look. That was real trouble. Hollison trying to push it forward. Can't do it. Goes out. Lyon sends it out. Some substitutions coming in right now. McLeod's going to take a break. Mulvaney's going to take a break. Queeley comes in, and looks like Doniger comes in. Throw by Fitzgerald. Pops it over the head of Kutchman. There's O'Connell. O'Connell with a move. O'Connell with a shot. O'Connell, oh, with the left foot just clears the side of the post and the crossbar. So O'Connell had a step, made a nice move, but just didn't have the angle and uh, pushed it high above. But a great, got some good purpose on that ball. So a good shot, but it just went up and high over the crossbar to the left of the post. So Allison trying to get back into this thing and just, again, that Norton defense, they are not giving it to him. Queeley gets ahead on it, and then Leone's there with the foot race, and she earns the throw. Leone, quick throw into Doniger, and Doniger's going to throw it herself now. Doniger's trying to find Queeley. She gets boxed out. In fact, she gets boxed out by Collins. I think that's Taylor Collins on the outside. But it's going to be Hollison throw. Hollison throws in. And still can't come away with it. Still trying to keep the pressure on. Bausch sends it back into the box, but there's nobody there. It's going to two hop to Hebert. Nothing doing. So we're into the 50th minute right now. Hollison chills, still trails one to three. Long ball up. Here comes Hauk. Emma Hauk tries to send it, but just runs out of real estate, pushes it to the outside. A little creeping up the sideline there by Hickey. Hickey, who had that third goal. There's a race. Lucas is there, and she's, she gets a foot on it, but not cleanly. But Leone's able to get a hold of it. She was getting pushed by, looked like Adeline Corcoran, Pushing that ball down to score the first goal for Norton. Norton had, Norton's showing some good organization, especially in the back. Showing some good organization, and they, they, they're patient. They're patient in the midfield, and they have some kids who can hit it. Bausch, trying to find somebody. A little too much on there. Holden's there. Nothing. Norton throw. Throw goes in. A lofty shot. Trying to put a cross. She was looking for Re Rochebeau. Rochebeau scored that second goal. That's Leahy. She can't get a hold of it. And there's O'Connell on the outside. Kutchman pops it forward. The ball's lofted up. Holden's there. She tries to come down with it, but can't. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald plays it to the outside. Hauk's there. She plays the outside, and there's and there's the trouble. There's, there's too much action there, and they get to one mark. But here comes Hollison on the transition. Holden with some space. Holden at midfield. Holden pushes the ball forward. He's got O'Connell. O'Connell pushes it back to Doniger. Doniger with a shot, and it's right, right at Kaitlyn Hebert. So KK Hebert is, uh, she doesn't have to move her feet, and that's going to make things a little bit easier for her. Hollison had a nice little break. Uh, good idea by O'Connell to push it out to Doniger. 
Doniger had a good look, better look than she did. And Doniger headed with some purpose, but right at the keeper. Hauk turns. There's nobody there. Kutchman's there. Kutchman tries to get a foot on it and does. Hauk's there, and it's going to go out. It's going to be a Holliston throw. O'Connell's there. O'Connell gets tangled up with Lavoie. Looks like Olivia Lavoie. And it's going to be a Norton throw. So Hickey with the throw. Rochebeau. Queeley's there. Queeley can't get to it. Goes by Leone. There's McLeod. McLeod gets beat. And now it's just Bausch. Norton with numbers. Fitzgerald's there to stuff it. McLeod recovers and able to get control. And Doniger turns on the outside. So Doniger with some space. Doniger, nice move on the outside. She gets hit. And there's no whistle. Well, it's going to be a Holliston throw. So Doniger looked like she had something interesting happening on the other side, but unable to get to it. Leone with the throw. Looking at Queeley, but not for her. Finds O'Connell. O'Connell's there, bounces over her head. And Holliston gives it right back, but then Norton gives it right back to Holliston. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of exchange. I'll give it to you. You kick it out of bounds. You give it to me. I'll kick it out of bounds. If you kick it out of bounds, then I'll make sure I kick it out of bounds next time. It, it seems like there's a lot of that, especially when you get down in those corner areas, which is, as we were saying earlier, it's remarkable how the how the pros just don't do that. They just don't kick the ball out of bounds. They just they'll stand there and just leave it staying in bounds. Like it, it only goes out when they want it to go out. I guess that's why they call them professionals. And it's going to be a whisk. It's going to be some house, some contact. So it's going to be a, no, it's not going to be, it's going to be a throw. Norton throw down to Holliston and trying to make something happen down three to one here in the second half. We're uh, approaching the 55th minute. Leone on the outside. And that's a foul. So Doniger's going to earn a foul. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a somewhat of a corner kick. It's going to be a free kick uh, just inside the inline. So see if Hollison can take advantage of this. It's going to be a corner kick, a little bit quick. So this is a, this is a dangerous spot. It's a dangerous spot. See who's going to take it. Looks like it's going to be Emma Hauk. So Hauk's going to take this. Hmm, interesting. Let's get Kuchman on the far post. See if she can find her. So how? Lost the ball up. Not bad. Goes up. Finds Kuchman. Kuchman misses it. She got She saw her. There's Bausch trying to keep it in, and she's not going to make it. So Bausch with a quick throw, trying to keep the pressure on, staying down in the Norton end. Kuchman turns. Nothing. Hauk's unable to get a foot on. It's going to roll easily to Hebert, and Norton's going to reset. Hebert, big, big, strong leg. Sends it way over, way into the, into the Holliston territory. Kutchman's there. So that midfield play is really where Holliston's getting stuck. O'Connell tries to, again, trying to muscle the ball through. Ball comes forward, and there's Kutchman. Kutchman's got some space. Kutchman's got a ball. He's got O'Connell. O'Connell one time, and oh, she's unable to get it. O'Connell felt the pressure, wanted to get that ball, and she was there. She had a look, but was unable. Tried to one time, and maybe, which I bet if she had, she had her way, she'd she'd take that one over and maybe get one touch on that ball. One touch, she would have been able to take that extra touch. She would have been able to possibly get a better shot. She tried it one time and, and just wasn't able to connect. Hebert connects and right to Cushman. Cushman's doing a Cushman's working hard in that middle right now, trying to make something happen. Ball goes out. It's going to be a house and throw. Fitzgerald's going to take it. 
Holliston sub. Doniger comes out. McDonald comes back in. Fitzgerald. And, yeah, it's going to be a whistle. So that looked like uh, Kayla Leahy gets called for the foul. And it's a quick kick. Holden from distance, and she one hops it to Hebert, and we're going to do this all over again. We talked about the uh, the connection with Holliston uh, girls soccer and uh, Holliston old man softball. There really is no connection other than a lot of dads. Oh, that's trouble right there. And McLeod's going to get called for a foul right there, right in front, right outside the box. So this is dangerous territory. So Allison needs to be, they need to be ready. It's going to be a free kick from about the 20-yard line. So this could be big, big trouble. So Lucas trying to organize, trying to organize her defense. Let's see who's going to take it. Looks like it's going to be number 18, Phoebe Gesner. So Gesner in the 59th minute with the free. Direct kick goes up. And she scores. So Gesner is able to put it just inside the right post, and Norton takes a four to one lead. So Lucas just couldn't get to that. Gesner had, she hit that hard. That was a great shot. And just inside that right hand post. So Gesner couldn't have hit it any better. Lucas didn't have a chance as she pounded that ball. And Lucas trying to play in the middle, couldn't do it. So unfortunately, Hollison again off the free kick. Hollison goes down by another goal, losing four to one now. So Hollison really, really in trouble. Trying to there's a shot and it goes wide. Hollison trying to get back in this, trying to make something happen. As they did not, that was something that they absolutely did not need. But you know, the great thing about this team is they don't quit. So as we enter the 60th minute, Hollison trails Norton. By a score of four to one. The latest goal coming off the direct kick by Phoebe Gesner. Cross as Kutchman Hauk takes a shot. She pops it up, just goes up over the top of the goal. So with 20 minutes remaining, Hollison trails one to four. Trying to out, trying to get something past this Norton defense, and they they've had some opportunities. They have been able to 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 get in there and and get some reasonably good looks. It's just not enough. Not not anyone that's not anything that's really been able to take. And as Queeley comes in, she comes in a little too hard, and it's going to be you know, Queeley's going to get. She earns the foul, so it's going to be a Halston free from just about at the 30-yard line. Uh, Holden's going to short kick it. She takes to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald sends it forward. She's got O'Connell. She gets hit, and there's, oh, Coachman. Coachman was there, breakthrough. She was onside. It looked like she might have been offside, but I think she was held on. So Coachman had a look, oh, and just, just unable to get a good clean strike on it and just put it to the left of the, cro of the post. Unfortunate again. Coachman's had a couple of looks, and she just, ah, she's just unable to get that to get that foot cleanly on and get some purpose. But here we go again. So McDonald on the outside. McDonald gets some space. Ball gets away from her, but she earns a throw. She's going to take a quick throw. Trying to find Holden. Holden's there. There's Kutchman. Kutchman turns, gets some, and pops it up and just pops it up over. So Kutchman hits it with her left foot and pops it up over the top of that crossbar. Sometimes Hollison soccer does feel like old man softball, and when the when the scores start getting a little out of control, um, as I said, the only connection is that some of the dads that I happen to know who play old man softball are also uh, have uh, have players and former players. Kutchman with a shot and right at Hebert. Coach so Hollison trying to get something. They've they've been they've had a couple shots here in the last several minutes, but I uh, currently I. Uh, some of the current players uh, that have uh, that have dads that are, are, are playing in, in the old man league that are, you know, some better than others, I'll, we'll say that. Here's Norton. Norton attacking again. That's trouble. 
Fitzgerald's able to clear it, and now Hollison's trying to turn around. Kutchman looks up, trying to find Houck. Houck's there. Houck comes to the ball, does a nice job, but then oh, and still keeps it. Kutchman helps. O'Connell tries to come up and help. Kutchman again. Kutchman finally looks going to roll. It's going to be a Hollison throw. So Brad Lucas, of course, uh, we call him Air Force Brad. He, uh, of course, is the dad of, uh, of Kira Lucas. Um, you know, he's a, he's a good softball player for an Air Force guy. You know, it's pretty much you can only give him so much credit because the Air Force, it's a different branch of service than the other branches because they, um, you know, they don't, they don't really want to, they don't want to put anybody uh, in any, you know, in a too difficult a situation. If you know what I'm saying, they, they want, they don't want to, they don't want anybody to feel feel uncomfortable. Put it that way. So for all you Air Force people out there, I'm happy to discuss this as I've had some experience with some Air Force people, and I've noticed that they always live better than everybody else. And uh, yeah, they do. They, they, their tours are shorter. They have better stuff. They have better food, better housing, better bathrooms. Here's Norton again, coming back. Leone's there. Looks like Leone's going to be able to keep control of this. And, and it's going to be a Hollis and goal kick. The Air Force guys are smart. Make no mistake about it. They know what they're doing. We, and, you know, in, in, you know, as an Army person, we would always, whenever I was on a deployment, you'd always try and find the Air Force guys. Because they always, like I said, they had the best food. They had the best stuff. So if you found, you know, if you made friends with some Air Force people, usually things, you know, they made you a little bit happier. Uh, we talked about Kaylee McDonald, Jay McDonald, uh, Jay McDonald, who is a, uh, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a physical education. He's a, he's a teacher. So he, he takes great pride in, in, you know, in being physical. Um, he's an angry softball player, but he does have some skills. He hits well. And, you know, that's one thing. Kaylee McDonald, who is, uh, she is a, she is an, also an excellent softball, great athlete, his daughter, much better athlete than her father. Uh, Kaylee McDonald is a softball player here for the uh, for the Hollison Panthers as well. All right, here comes Norton and Hollison trying to spread things out a little bit, and things are starting to get a little bit racy as uh, everybody seems like they're turning this into a foot race. And Hollison's going to see if they can they may be able to take advantage of of a Norton miscue in the back, but Norton he could be just to do the same thing and taking advantage of Hollison. McDonald pushes to the outside. She's got Queeley. Queeley on the right side. Back to McDonald. McDonald's got a little space. Makes a nice move. Pushes it through. McDonald with the left foot. Just wide of the post. Strong shot by Kaylee McDonald. Just wide. She didn't have a great angle. But uh, just hit it. And, and, and hit it with some pace. But unable to get it on target. So Hollison still trailing 1-4. to four. Against Norton. Norton is four unanswered goals from Holliston's early goal. She falls. It was, uh, that was Santos. She falls down, but then Norton gets it right back. Leone's there. Leone with a nice move. Sends the ball forward. Trying to find McDonald. Moving down the right side, but a little bit too strong. Norton's there. Pushes it out, and McDonald's going to get to throw it in. Holliston throw. Kutchman. McLeod's there. She comes up from her center back position, trying to keep the ball forward. It's unable to keep it in bounds. It's going to be a Norton throw. So we're in the 67th minute now. 67 minutes played. Long ball in. That's Queenie. That's Sarah Queenie who's come in the game now. She's trying to she gets a foot on it. Bausch sends it forward. Again, looking for Queenie. There's Kutchman. Kutchman of the race. She comes away with it. Kutchman, some shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact, and it looks like they're, they're going to give that to Norton. The Norton player might have been on a hickey. And she earns the foul, and it's going to be a free kick for Norton down in the Holliston end. Hollison trying to make something happen, trying to get trying to get at least one conversion 
make this game a little bit more respectable. As Norton right now is just they're they're playing with playing as 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 free as they can with that three goal lead. Comes away with it. Queeley's there. Sorry, Queenie is there. And there's Kutchman. Called her name a lot. She's been working hard today, but just unable to crack that defense. Fitzgerald's a nice play. Or sorry, Mulvaney. That was Mulvaney to O'Connell. Here she is again. She looks to the left or to her right. She's got McDonald. McDonald sends the ball forward, trying to find O'Connell. O'Connell turns and shoots right at Hebert. So nice turn, a nice strike by Caitlin O'Connell, but unable to get it past the uh, ever-present Hebert, who is, you know, she's getting a little. We wanted to see if she could get tested uh, in this half, but she has been. But Hollison's been sending the ball mostly in, right into her direction. Fitzgerald's there, gets a foot on it, gets it forward. It's got McDonald again. So here Hollison's trying to do it. It's got Queenie on the outside. Queenie pushes the ball forward, and there's nobody there. Tries to get it across. Hebert chases it down. She's going to hold on to it and keep it in. Donald comes up, makes her makes her pick the ball up. She's going to take her time with a three-goal lead. Allison trailing four to one. Queenie, Kutchman, bumps off of her. Mulvaney's there. McDonald, McDonald looks to play back. She's got McLeod and. Looks like there's contact there. It looks like Leone gets fouled. McLeod's going to take the Leone. Sorry, Bausch is going to take the free. Be a free kick from just on their side. Bausch sends the ball forward. She's got Mulvaney. Mulvaney turns into traffic. McLeod's there. She's in traffic as well. She can't break three. And here comes here comes Norman. Sorry, Norton. Pushes on the outside. Queenie's there. She races. She can't come away with it. Bausch. Bausch turns. Bausch to Queenie. Queenie gets a foot on it, but it gets stuffed. Kutchman pops it forward, and there's O'Connell. O'Connell gets comes down with it. Can't come down with it cleanly, and it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be a Hollison throw. So we're in the 70th minute. Hollison trails 1-4. to four. Some substitutions coming in. Let's see, we can see Holden comes back in. Uh, we have Caitlin Queeley's in. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald pushes forward, trying to find O'Connell. She gets stepped in front of, and here comes, here comes Norton. Pops it back. McLeod's there. She pops it forward. She's got Kutchman. Fitzgerald. Hauk's there. Hauk gets stuck, and it's going to go off of her. It's going to be a Norton throw. So with just nine minutes remaining, Hollison still trailing. Trying to get back and trying to get something, trying to get something on the board after that early goal in the second minute. After that, it's been all Norton. McLeod races on the outside. She's racing against Sophia Simpson. Simpson pushes it in, but Holden's there to clear it, but they're going to reset it, and it's going to be a Norton throw. Hickey with the throw. And they give it back. All right, so Hollison's still pushing here, still trying. You can see there's a little bit of frustration as is to be expected. I mean, this is not how they wanted this to turn out, but that's the beauty of it is they still play hard. You know, the quitting or, or giving up is just it's not in the DNA of this team, and it's not in the DNA of pretty much any team you see. You see... Uh, you know, in this league, which is 
it's heartwarming. You know, it's heartwarming when you see, you know, teams, it doesn't matter what the score is, kids come out and they play. And that's, you know, that's a, that's a testament to, testament to their coaching. It's a testament to their, you know, to their town leagues or their club leagues that they've, you know, that they brought in the coaches that they've had, you know, and testament to the parents and how, you know, we always say it's not about, you know, it's not about winning. It's that winning isn't the most important thing. It's that it's, playing the game and being able to to have the opportunity to compete at a, at a high level at the highest level that you can all right so Holliston uh looking at it down the business end of another corner kick and there it is balls up hits lucas hits the post and it's going to be a Holliston goal kick not a bad ball coming in and lucas is there but it just catches the inside of the post and goes out Bausch is going to send it for Holliston. Ball up. Goes, it's got McDonald up top. McDonald turns and it's got O'Connell, but she's, she runs out of real estate and comes back the other way. Ball forward. Queely's on the outside. She tries to stop. That's Collins on the outside for Norton. Leone sends it forward. Always trying to get that ball to Caitlin O'Connell, and there she is. McDonald. McDonald rolls over that ball a little bit. Looks like she might have turned her ankle, but looks like she's okay. Ball forward, but there's... Lucas is well out of the goal. Ball comes through. It goes between her legs. Fitzgerald's there to clean it up. Lucas gets back, and almost another... Almost more trouble on the outside with Lucas coming out of the goal as it turns into another foot race. We got a Norton player down. She collided with Lucas. I think they, they both came in trying to kick that ball at the same time and they may have just kicked one another. Just classic. Looks like she's okay. Looks like uh, that's number 11. Looks like Sophia Simpson. So it looks like Simpson's okay. So six minutes remaining. Holliston trails four to one. Going to be a Holliston jump ball, whatever that was. Kutchman's there. Kutchman plays back, and he get, calls that whistle. Leahy gets called for just some, some grabbing. Ball comes forward quickly once again. Is that number nine? It's Jordan Ranieri. I think that's Ranieri who's playing that center back. Ranieri's been, she's essentially been holding this Holliston attack hostage the entire game. She's just, they can't get past her. There's Kutchman. Kutchman with a nice move, pushes it to the outside. One time shot for Holden. She gets some pace on it. But once again, right to Hebert. Coaches weren't kidding. They talked about Hebert at the beginning of this game. They said she is legit. Long blast out over midfield. Here comes Norton trying to take advantage of that bounce ball. McLeod's there. She gets pushed. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a foul on Norton. So just under five minutes to play. There's Bausch. Bausch, long ball up. McLeod comes down with it nicely. She's unable to control it. And she gets it back. Here comes McLeod on the outside with a little bit of space. McLeod. Does a move, gets the outside, and she gets tangled up, and it's going to be a whistle. Yeah, so they're going to call that. So looks like it's going to be a Howlson free kick right about the 20. McLeod on a nice move. Good athletic move trying to get past, and uh, they get tangled up, and she's going to get the foul. She gets up a little gingerly, but it looks like she's going to be okay. Once again, we talked about her old man. He's relatively tough, whatever. So if she's like, you know, he's like, she's like one-tenth as, t or he's one-tenth as tough as his daughter is. Free kick in, Holden, blasts it. Goes up, and it goes wide. So Holden got some air on it, but she was from distance trying to put it into that far right-hand or left-hand corner as we look at the goal, unable to do so. 
So it's going to be a house and corner. There we go. House and corner. Ball's up. Gets to the head of Queeley. Kutchman with a great save. Oh, Heber with a diving save. Kutchman had a point-blank shot. And that was Heber with a diving one-handed save. Fantastic save. So Kutchman had a great look, a great turn, hammered it. And that was a that was a major league save right there by Kayla Hebert. So once again, she's showing this is where one of the things that that uh, you'll always see if you have a if you have a quality goalkeeper, they they can, they can keep you in the games. And nothing against the house and goalkeeper Lucas is she's been she's played a great game today as well. But that Hebert, she had a that was a that was a big time save. McLeod racing. Challenging on the outside. Ball gets turned, but McLeod's able to keep it and it goes out. It's going to be a Holliston goal kick. So Kutchman, she just got robbed right there. That was a robbery. She had it. She was, I mean, Kutchman's been banging on the door all game and can't get anything past Ebert. And finally gets a good strike. And Ebert's there, gets the one handed save. Hauk. Hauk in traffic. Can't come away with it. Queenley's there. And here comes Bausch pushing it forward, trying to find McDonald. Oh, this is too much. Allison trying to do that. They push the ball forward and they send it so hard. It just turns into something that they just can't control. Queenley, nice play. Trying to turn it back around. And she earns a throw. So we're coming down, wrapping things up right here. Last several minutes of this game, Holliston trying to get another score on the board. Almost did. Almost did other than the save that was made by uh, by K.K. Hebert uh, on the strike by Paige Kutchman. So McDonald's playing like she hasn't, like it's, like it's tied, which I, you know, again, it's, it's great to see these kids. They just don't, they just don't, they don't have any speeds. It's like two speeds off and on. There's no, there's no in between. There's no, there's no loafing for, for this Holliston team. Never has been, and I doubt we're going to see. We've never seen it under, under Coach Chadsey. That's for sure. Queeley outside. She miss hits it. Goes out. It's going to be a Norton throw. McDonald's there and stays in. Queeley. Queeley plays it out. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald carries it. Fitzgerald carries it. She's got some space. Sends it forward looking for O'Connell. O'Connell trying to break through. Almost does, but can't. Shot. And once again, that was, yeah, once again, Paige Cooper shot it one time with her left foot. Didn't get in as much on, not as much as she got last one. And. Once again, goes over the keeper. It's going to go to Hebert, the goal kick. She plays it short out. Hauk challenges, does a nice job, come away with the ball, but she's backed up. Bausch is there. Fitzgerald's there, and it's going to be it's going to be a Norton throw. As that whole interaction just happened outside of bounds, and that's it, folks. All right. So at the end of uh, at the end of regulation. Holliston uh, loses to Norton by a score of four to one. Uh, great game on both sides. Great sportsmanship on both sides. It's great to see. Even though Holliston was down for most of this game, uh, they kept their fight up and did a did a good job trying to stay back, but was unable to crack that Norton defense. As that Norton defense gave up that early goal, and then after that, Holliston was essentially shut down. Had their opportunities, but once again, uh, the final score: Holliston one, Norton four. On behalf of the Holliston Hub, HCAT, uh, Mr. Bruce Willis and Lindsey Crane, I'm John Droan. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Holliston Hub Girls Varsity Soccer.